with the Romand New Zero Cushion and I'm in the shade 05 Sand 25. I have this little bear sticker on it. It's been a while since I filmed a chit chat get ready with me but I miss talking to you guys and I want to give you guys a little update on what I've been up to. I'm going to use the Tower 28 Swipe Serum Concealer to kind of spot conceal. So lately, I've been spending a lot of time with my loved ones. I wasn't really doing the best emotionally and mentally during the summer. So I decided it was time to stop isolating myself and rotting away in my room and start just building more memories and living in the moment. Next, I'm going to use the Rare Beauty Liquid Blush in the shade Virtue. If you haven't seen my previous vlog, I reunited with my high school friends. I got some new tattoos. I have one on my rib and my shoulder. I've been going to a lot of cafes and the beach with my friends as well. I'm going to set using the Perfect Diary Weightless Soft Velvet Blurring Loose Powder. I also attended Head in the Clouds this year with my my friend Vanessa. I got to see some of my favorite artists and even discovered some new talented artists. I'm gonna use my Lawless Press Powder just to add more coverage. I also met some of my Instagram mutuals and ran into some old friends which was really nice. We had such a fun time. Me and Vanessa were low-key suffering in the heat though but it was worth it. I'm gonna put on some of this Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm Heat and Gloss Slipper just to help moisturize and plump my lips while I do the rest of my makeup. To contour my face, I'm gonna use the Essence Contouring Duo Ooh, palette. Anyways, overall, I've just been getting out of the house more often, but of course, I still enjoy doing stuff by myself. I've been trying that new technique of contouring your face where instead of really carving out your cheekbones, if you go right here on your jaw, bring it up to the side and then blending it inwards a bit, it'll help kind of slim down your face. Make sure you use a cool tone contour though. And then I'm going to warm up the face with the LYS No Limits Matte Bronzer in the shade Harmony. Lately, I've also been watching more K-dramas since there's been new ones that have been released lately. I'm currently watching twinkling watermelon because I kept seeing it everywhere on my TikTok and when I tell you that I cried almost every single episode, it's so good. To fill in my brows, I'm going to use these two, the NYX Precision Brow Pencil in Ash Brown and the e.l.f. Wow Brow Gel in Neutral Brown. So what have you guys been up to? How's your 2023 been? What are some things that you enjoyed this year or what are you looking forward to in 2024? Comment down, down below because I want to know. Eyebrows done. Now for eyeshadow, I'm going to use the NYX Ultimate Shadow Palette in Warm Neutrals. It's like the perfect fall palette. I'm going to use this shade right here all over my lid under my eye. Blend out the edges. I'm also going to blend it right here where my nose contour starts just so I have a smooth transition. So I'm going to mix these two on this outer part of my eye to kind of create a wing. Blend it out. Putting some on my inner corner and then just connect it on the lash line. Whatever's left, I'm going to put it on the outer half of my lash line and just kind of connect it. Next, I'm going to curl my lashes. I tight line my waterline and then just kind of follow the line of my eye straight out first like that. And then as you can see, it just naturally flicks up. I'm just going to follow that. And then just create the shape of my wing. I feel like I should have used a brown eyeliner, but I ran out of my brown eyeliner. gonna apply some mascara now. See what else have I been up to? Oh, if you follow me on my Instagram, you would know that I've been crocheting, which has been a therapeutic hobby for me. I really enjoy crocheting little stars for me and my friends so we can match. I've also been finding new creative outlets for me to do besides just art and editing. I started taking a creative writing class this semester, which has been a very like healing way for me to channel my emotions into a different form of art while also improving how to organize my thought process. There you go. I'm gonna use the Rare Beauty Powder Highlighter and Accelerate. I just realized, why am I highlighting my nose without even contouring it first? Oh my gosh. Scratch that. Contour the nose. <laughs> 
Since we already have the guide from our eyeshadow, I'm just gonna follow that down. <laughs> Reverse contouring, I guess. I'm going to use a brow pencil to extend my inner corners. I'm also gonna draw on a beauty mark. I forgot to put highlighter in my inner corners. A little bit of the brow bone. I've been on a little self-growth journey these past few months and it's been a roller coaster of emotions, but I'll save the details for another time. But let's just say with everything that's been going on in my personal life, I haven't really had the time or energy mentally or emotionally to post on YouTube or just create content in general. And I know it's been a while, but your girl has been feeling a little burnt out lately, so please bear with me. Thank you for being so patient. We're almost done. So all is left are the lips. And since it's a little bit tacky, it will help the lip makeup last longer. I'm gonna conceal my outer lip line. And then I'm going to contour my lips. The cupid's bow above here, I think it's called the philtrum, the bottom of my lip. I'm going to line my lips with the Clio Velvet Lip Pencil in Coffee Brown. take a lip smudging brush, I need to clean this, and I like to just smudge out the edges just to get that blurred lip look. So Peri Para sent me all of their ink glassing lip glosses a while ago, so I'm gonna use them in today's video. I think I'm gonna use two today. I'm gonna start off with number nine. I'm pretty sure it's called Grow On You, and it's this really pretty like caramel brown color. This is like perfect for this look. <gasps> oh, I love this color. And then finally, I'm going to use number six. I think it's called Made It. And it's a reddish brown color. This is kind of like a dupe for the Clinique Black Honey lip gloss. I feel like this will look so pretty during the winter time, like by itself. I'm going to put this. In the center, kind of blend it out right here, corners of my lips, right here, and then blend it out. Wow, I really like this lip combo. And this is the finished autumn mute makeup look. If you guys are familiar with personal color, which is like a big thing in Korea, a color scheme or a color palette that works well with your skin tone, undertone. There's like summer cool, winter dark, autumn mute, bright spring. There's a lot, but I took a test and I found out I was autumn mute and I feel like, yeah, definitely an autumn mute girly. If you do know your personal color, I want to know, comment them down below. Autumn mute is my personal color, but I feel like this makeup look would suit anyone. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for 300,000 subscribers. I hope you know how grateful I am for you guys supporting me, watching my videos, and for all the love. Thank you again for your patience and for tuning into my content. But that is all for me. Bye. Thank you. I love you.